Today we're going to be making one of my favourite curries. We're making a vegan mutter paneer. So in Indian, mutter is peas and paneer is cottage cheese. Now obviously this is a vegan dish so we're not going to be using cottage cheese, we're going to be using tofu instead. Now for all of those of you that are skeptical about tofu, please don't worry, it actually works really well in this dish. The way that I've approached it is I'm actually going to be incorporating some cashews in there as well to add the creaminess because we're not going to be using a normal dairy cream. So we also will be starting off with the vegetables. So we'll be sauteing them and adding that depth of flavor rather than blending them and then adding them to the dish. So you'll see um, as I start it, but that's kind of where it's a little bit different from the usual mitre panini that I've seen others do. So we're starting off by setting the pan on medium heat and adding two tablespoons of neutral oil. Today I'm using grapeseed oil, but you can use any other oil of choice. So once the oil heats up, we add a third cup of cashews. We then clean and peel the onion. You can do it quite roughly because they're going to be going into the blender in a minute anyways. Once the cashews start to change color and go a little bit brown, you add the onions in. And give that a nice stir. Again, you can roughly chop the chili as well, so you don't have to worry about chopping it nice and fine for this part. You can de-seed it if you like, but I find green chilies quite mild, so you can leave them in. So now we'll add the three cloves of garlic, the one green chili, and about a half an inch worth of chopped up fresh ginger. So we'll just give that a good stir, get all those aromatics. So now we just need three to four um, fresh tomatoes. So that should equal about 500 grams. So we'll chop those up and put them in there as well. So after a couple of minutes, we just add in all of the tomatoes. and give that a good stir. And that'll also help to deglaze the pan. So add about a teaspoon of salt and give that a good stir and let that simmer for a couple of minutes until all of those flavors infuse. We're just gonna switch this off and transfer all of that into our blender. So we'll put all of the ingredients in there. This is gonna be our gravy for the curry. So just give the, your wok or your pan or whatever you're using a quick wipe out, because we're gonna be using this again. So you can see all of the natural juices have come through, so it'll be quite easy to blend this up. So we'll just do it until it's nice and smooth. Just be careful, because it's gonna be quite hot. steaming hot so just be careful when you're opening it up so that's what it should look like bubbly so we'll just set that aside and we'll return back to the stove and get our ground up dry spices on place the skillet back on medium heat and add two tablespoons of oil to that we add half a teaspoon of ground cumin three quarter teaspoon of garam masala quarter teaspoon of cinnamon powder, and quarter teaspoon of chili powder. So once you have all of the ground spices in there, just saute that for 30 seconds or so, just until you release all of those beautiful fragrances. You don't wanna overdo it though, so just about 30 seconds is enough. Then we add in the tomato paste, three tablespoons worth. Now we're just gonna add in that beautiful gravy we just blended up before 
and just be careful because it will spit a little bit. And about 300 mils of veggie stock. So we just want to incorporate that really well and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Stir occasionally as the gravy thickens. So we're just going to chop up about 250 grams worth of firm tofu into bite-sized cubes. And we'll be adding this to the gravy towards the end. So now we just add the tofu in carefully so you don't get burnt. and about 160 grams of fresh or frozen peas, like so. <laughs> Get stuck to the bottom. And just give that a gentle stir and let it simmer for another five minutes. So after five minutes, just give it another good stir and season, give it a try and then season if it needs a little bit more salt. Your curry's done. So I hope you enjoyed me putting together this vegan matter paneer. It's a really great curry. I'm sure that everyone will love it. It's got that beautiful creaminess as I talked about before with the cashews and all of those vegetables that we sauteed before we blended them and all of those beautiful aromatic herbs that are so well known in Indian cooking. So, so far that I've had this recipe on the website, everybody has absolutely loved it and I'm sure you will too. If you want the full details of how to make this beautiful curry, you can pop on over to theminimalistvegan.com and we'll link that in the description below for you. Happy cooking. All right, so you can pop over. What am I saying? <laughs> Don't recall. What was that? Nothing. Nah, do it. No. <laughs> I said that. <laughs>